hello welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back and for coming by again today today we are going to have some awesome crafts items from the dollar store and we are going to make this beautiful gnome aren't they cute and we are going to make this everything that i use is from the dollar store i purchased two of them from goodwill a pillow and a a beard a fake beard and that's all i get at the goodwill the beard the fake beard and the stuffing which is the pillow so i hope you are going to enjoy and will have fun to make this gnome with me and let's get into this here we go <laughs> So this is what we are going to make right now. This one is made from sock, two color of sock, which is the black and then the gray. And this is a fake hair. I got this from Goodwill, the hair one. And these are all from the Dollar Tree. The sock is from the Dollar Store and this one is from the Dollar Store. And this one, the nose is we just made the gnome's nose, okay? And I'm going to show you how to make that nose. And there you go. So what we need for this gnome is a sock. I got this sock at the dollar store and then they have two pair. And I used the bottom for the gnome. So this one black and then the gray one and we use this one and I got this at the dollar store and this one and this is what we're going to use this cherry looking um, red <laughs> so that's what we are going to use a felt this color of felt and a thread any kind of size of a thread okay as long as it matches your sock or something that it hides and then I also have a rubber band which you use it for the tying the hair and that's what we are going to use all right and of course you are going to need a glue gun the hair that I have I got them from Goodwill and this is like a fake beard and that is from that you know usually you can get this if you can find it you can always go for a halloween outfit and then they have a hair fake hair and that's what i use guys that's from that fur okay so i just cut the bottom so it is working so well and of course we are going to use rocks i like to use rocks because sometimes if we use a uh, beans or a rice it might be some for the you know it just doesn't last long because i don't want any insect or any something in there especially in places that you live you know and so i preferred rocks to use and I have this pillow and the inside of this pillow is the one I used to part of the stuffing of the gnome okay so I got this at the if you go to your local store or Goodwill or something you can grab a pillow because it's cheaper that way and then you wash it of course okay so that it is clean for you for your project and let's get started now first let's grab our jar and sometimes it works better if you cut the half of your sock like right on the heel just cut them off set that aside and put your sock over to the glass or something jar that you have 
and you put a rock inside it first rocks goes first and you can just really estimate of how big your gnome would be and just like so and that's perfect enough like it's enough to make the gnome steady to hold them in place and then I grab my stuffing this one and I also estimate them how big I want so I just stuff them just like so and this could be better and then look how good they are now they formed the body of the gnome already and just like so that could be super perfect and let's set our jar aside and tie it with a rubber band that you have and that could be super awesome isn't it and I like to secure it with a thread because over time when you use a rubber band over time your rubber band will give up so secure it with a thread as well it is much safer to use a thread over to your rubber band because sometimes the rubber band will give up so there you go like so and you can cut it if you want to or you can leave it just like that but I'm going to cut it a little bit like this just a little bit and like so now you are going to grab your sock the different color of sock and you just have to estimate how deep would be your nose would be your gnome's nose and maybe just like so and then I like to estimate as well on this particular part I kind of like to cut it below the heel like on the foot area not here but here if you know what I mean so I just like to do it like so just cut it and that could be your hat for your no but first let's make the nose next you're going to grab this vase filler and you put a blob of glue on it and just stick it to the felt just like so and cut it like a square shape it's not supposed to be perfect shouldn't be perfect so just blob it like so like that fill it up with tons of glue in there and squeeze it down and you can close it like how it's supposed to just like so okay now you can tell when it is sticking together and you can secure this part if you want to with a glue stick so it's not flopping everywhere you can tie it with a rubber band but i'm not going to because i don't want it to show on my gnome's nose okay so just like that and I think I reached that area so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut on that edge so I just have to cut it just like so and once you cut it you just have to make it sure that those open areas are glued so that they're not flying everywhere on the gnome's nose just like that 
All right, so after that, you are going to estimate, you put this sock over to your gnome that you just made the body and you just have to estimate or you just have to aim how close your nose would be just like that I think that would be perfect just like that because it's so nice when the nose is a little bit sticking out just like that okay now you just have to put it like that and that's the one we want we want it over there so now let's put a blob of glue in there and just push it in like so just like that and then next is we are going to grab our fake hair all right, so let's just put this one aside for now. Next, I'm going to cut a hair. And you just have to make your gnome lace down like that. And you just have to aim how deep would it be your uh, gnome's beard. So that could be like that long. And I'm going to cut this one here and there like a rectangular one and I promise guys it's going to be messy after this because some of the hair that we just got is just going to fly everywhere now next is you are going to fold your fake hair and make like a shape of a U you can keep this part if you want to just flip it inside yeah you can just flip it inside just like so and you just cut it into a u shape like u okay just like so now it is u and you can trim it if you want to I kind of like to trim it anyway because it's much cleaner like that and on the other side is you are going to create a U here because you are going to tuck in your nose in that area so it's just like that like a little piece to hold your nose just like that okay Next, you are going to get your gnome and put a glue below the gnome's nose, like this. Okay, and then with this, you can put this hair like so. Okay, so you are tucking it in like that so that gnome's nose will fit in there okay you always start at the bottom of the nose and after that you just have to secure the rest down this part with a glue and there you go next would be this area and now it's time to put the sock the bottom part or the one that goes on the leg okay and you just put your sock you just have to put it over to the head like a hat because the gnome needs a hat okay and you kind of like want to make that hat goes over to that gnome's nose okay so first you secure it with a glue first so then it's not moving i like to put the glue on the gray sock so it holds the nose and you worry the other later okay so just hold it just like that and you kind of want to arrange the back at the same time 
because you want your gnome to be super cute and fluffy and now look at our gnomes it's getting looking pretty all right so they are getting nice looking gnome almost okay now what you can do next is you can put a stuffing inside just a little see that's why i leave it the little tip of that black sock in there so it has a little bit of hold for a triangle angle so you can put a stuffing in there just a little bit but i will so it's it's kind of like the same with this other guy and i'm going to stuff it just a little bit just a little bit maybe on the back just like so you tie it with a rubber band and of course you have to secure it again with a thread you can leave it like that but i like to secure it with a thread and now we can secure it with a thread I always like to secure everything with a thread because sometimes the rubber band will give, will give up over time. So just tie it like so. And like that. And it's good to go. And all you can do is just cut it a little bit on the end of this gnome's hat just a little bit and you can snip you can snip this part so they're a little bit more nice here and voila they have a cute little hat on that gnome and what i did is i secure the rest of my gnome i put a glue in there on that side and put a glue in this side just to hold the hat in place All right, so your gnome is perfectly pretty now. And all you have to do is you can decorate your gnome's hat. I use this tiny little leaf just to put it on there and cut another more piece just like so. And I'll do it right now like that. And... There you go so the gnome has a pretty beautiful hat and i cut this little cherry down here like i don't know what's that called guys but <laughs> i will call it cherry and there you go and your gnome got a pretty pretty hat going and that's it we have an awesome gnome that we just made